Uh, what is this idiot doing? I will be brief. I have decided to fulfill my dream of going into space. If you have a spaceship and are looking for a hilarious astronaut with an irregular heartbeat and $30 million, I'm prepared to leave as soon as tomorrow. <sighs> I wrote that yesterday. I will not be taking questions. Uh, forget it, Tracy. Tracy, listen. You cannot go into space. Your contract expressly prohibits dangerous activities like extreme sports or riding the subway on St. Patrick's Day. What is this, Horseville? Because I am surrounded by naysayers. Wordplay. That is solid. Look, when I was a kid growing up in the projects, I would look up at the stars and dream of going into space, of escaping the slums, of killing the Ewok. Now the man that that kid has become can make those dreams come true. Do you know what that's like? I do, Tracy. Then you know why I have to do this. As Robert Browning once wrote, oh, but a man's reach should exceed his grasp. Oh, what is a heaven for? I was prepared for the possibility of this meeting. Tracy, I'll call up my friends at NASA and I'll set up a flight for you. Thank you, Jackie D. Jack, what the hell? I'm not taking his childhood dream away from him. Not on my birthday. So you're just gonna let him do this? Of course not. I don't have friends at NASA. Bunch of nerds. You're gonna have to use your TV magic and fake a space launch for Tracy. Ah, oh, I was gonna go for a run today. Oh. <laughs> I just wanted to get you to approve the other astronauts we hired. Looks good. Where's Tracy? In Cape Canaveral, by which I mean through that door. We told him he had to be blindfolded before launch to prevent space madness. Sure. And then we put him on the Channel 4 traffic copter for a couple hours. And now he's landed here in sunny Florida. Well done, Hornberger. Yeah. As a child, I dreamed of being a congressman like my father. Now I do this. One DUI in high school. At least it's a dry heat here in Florida. Good work, astronaut Jordan. Now the plenty space attacks. Computer, when do I get some tank? Also, I'm thirsty. <laughs> Wordplay. <laughs> T minus 10 minutes. Why, Tracy's coming. Go along. Star Wars. This is an Apollo Command and Lunar Module that I just paid $7,000 for at a vintage toy store where a morbidly obese gentleman called me pal. Whoa. <laughs> Tracy to Earth! Come in, Earth! Mr. Jordan! How is space? Great wait, Kenneth! Space is very cold, but very beautiful. And sometimes it sounds like Jenna yelling in the distance. I think I... Oh my God! Where did you get that rocket? Mr. Donaghy is letting me hold it. It's awesome! You know, I actually envy you two. Sometimes I wish I could see the world through your eyes instead of mine. Hey, Jackie D, if everyone could see the world the way I see it, it would be a better place to live. I bet that's true, Tracy. <laughs> but that part of me is gone forever. I guess I just see the world the way I see it.